Hello everyone, my name is Marsha Knotts, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this heart friendship bracelet. I absolutely love this bracelet, I think it's super cute, and I think it could serve as a wonderful Valentine's Day gift. So this bracelet is very beginner friendly, there's only three rows, and they're all somewhat of a chevron, there's slight variations, but if you've never made bracelets before, I don't recommend you start from here. Going into this tutorial, I expect that you know how to make the basic knots, and have at least done the chevron or any other basic bracelet before. I have tutorials on basic knots and on basic chevrons, I have plenty of other beginner in-depth tutorials, so if you've never made a bracelet before, I recommend checking those out and then returning here for this one. But if you have made at least a chevron before and you are familiar with the basic knots, then you're all set to go. Let's get into this tutorial. So you're going to need two colours and I decided to go with a light pink and a dark pink. One of them is going to be for the background and the other one is going to be for the heart. You need four strings of each colour. Now there are many ways to start and finish your bracelets and I have a whole playlist full of tutorials on how to do that. But here today I'm going to be doing the most simple loop there is. And because I'm doing a loop, instead of cutting four strings per colour, I'm going to be cutting two. Since when I fold the strings in half, two will become four. So if you're not doing a loop, cut four strings per colour and I would say you want to cut them around a metre long but if you are doing a loop like me cut two strings per colour and cut them about two metres long. So once you've cut your string if you're doing a loop like I am you want to fold your strings so that the ends meet on the other side and you just want to do a simple overhand knot. Now as I mentioned before I do expect that you know how to make all of the basic knots. If you don't I have a very in-depth tutorial on all of the basic knots but let me just show you the overhand knot once again. So my strings are folded I'm going to put the the loop over these strings like so and I'm going to pull it through this loop and tighten it. And again I have a very very in-depth tutorial on all of these knots, if you want it it'll be linked in the description. Now for this loop you might want to make it a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, this is going to be the loop of your bracelet, for me I think this is fine. So once the loop is done you want to attach your bracelet to your workplace however it is more comfortable for you, I just put some tape over it and pinned it to my table. You might want to use a safety pin and a pillow because that is more comfortable but this is what I use for filming. And once that is done you want to arrange your strings in the order you're going to need them in the bracelet and that is two strings of the background colour, two strings of the heart colour, another two strings of the heart colour for the right side and then two more strings of the background colour. This pattern only has three rows, which might sound a little confusing if you're actually looking at the pattern because the pattern itself has six rows, but we're not going to be doing this row by row, we're going to be doing this in rows of chevrons, so in an arrow. This is called segment knotting and if you want to learn more about segment knotting and reading patterns in general, I have a very in-depth tutorial on that as well. But for now, we're going to start with just a simple V-shape for the chevron. This is exactly the same as the basic chevron and I hope you've already done that before. And since I'm assuming you've already done the chevron, I'm going to go really quickly here. You're going to take the outermost string on the left side and you're going to do a forward knot onto the next string. Then you grab the second string, do a forward knot on that. And then on the third string as well, the same forward knot. And that is the left half done. You now do the same thing with the right half, except going with backward knots. Of course, you take the outermost string and the next string to it, do a backward knot. You then grab the next string and do a backward knot on that. And the third string and a backward knot on that as well. And then once both of the background strings are in the centre, you are just going to do a knot between them. And since they're both strings of the same colour, it doesn't matter what knot you do, I'm just doing a forward knot because that's easier. Now you may see that the beginning is a little bit wonky, that is just because of the way that we started it. Once you start a bracelet with an overhand knot, the first couple of rows are going to be a little wonky. And that's why I tend to do other types of starts. But for a beginner bracelet, this is the easiest way and you just have to work through the first couple of rows. All right, so the first row was just a chevron. The second row is slightly more complicated. It's pretty much just the chevron as well, but the first knot you do is going to be different. The first knot on the left side, we take the outermost string and the next string to it, and we do a forward-backward knot. So that is one half of a forward knot, 
and one half of a backward knot. Doing that makes a knot of this string's colour but keeps all the strings in the same place. Now what we do after that is we take this next string that we just did a knot onto and we grab the string after that and we just do a chevron going in. So a forward knot here and grabbing the next string a forward knot here again. There we go, so you can see some dark pink coming through here. We do the same thing on the other side, except mirrored, of course. So taking the outermost string, which is the background string, and the next string to it, we do a backward forward knot. So one half of a backward knot and the second half of a forward knot. That makes a knot of the background colour but keeps the strings in the same place without moving them. We then take the string we just did the backward forward knot onto, which is this dark pink string, and we do two backward knots with it onto the other two strings, bringing it into the centre with just a chevron. And now when the two dark pink strings are in the centre together, we just make a knot between them. And that can be any knot since they are the same colour. So as you can see, the second row is pretty much just a chevron as well, except there is one slight variation where you do a forward backward knot on the left and a backward forward knot on the right for the first knot. The third row is also very similar to the chevron, except with one variation. You take the outermost strings here, which is the background and the heart string, and this time you do a backward forward knot on the left. So you take this dark string, which is meant for the heart colour, and you do a backward forward knot on the background string to the left of it. So one half of a backward knot and one half of a forward knot. And now we continue with a chevron. So we take the next string and we do a forward knot. And then moving on to the other side, take the two outermost strings, which is this background colour and the dark pink for the heart, and you make a forward backward knot with the dark pink. And then go in with backward knots for the chevron. And then in the middle, you make a knot between the two strings. And that's it! There is only three rows to this pattern. This might not look like much at the moment, but if you keep repeating those three rows over and over and over again, you will see the heart pattern starting to form. Let me show you one more time, make one more heart, and then I'll leave you to complete the bracelet on your own. So here, as you can see, the strings are back in the position that we started with. We've got two strings of the background colour on the left, two strings of the heart, two more strings of the heart, and two more strings of the background colour. Exactly the same as how we started. And as you remember, the first row of this pattern is just a chevron with the two outermost strings here, which are the background strings. So I'm just going to go in and do a row of chevron. So there we go, the chevron of the background is done. That is essentially the separator between the hearts. The next row we do is slight variation of the chevron. You take the first two strings and you do a forward backward knot with the background colour onto the heart colour. So a forward backward knot. And then you continue the row with taking this heart string and doing two forward knots just as a chevron. And same thing on the other side, but of course the opposite. You do a backward forward knot with the background string onto the heart string. And then taking this heart string, you do backward knots into the center in a chevron. And 
the third row of the pattern is also similar to a chevron with one alteration. You take the outermost strings, but this time you take the heart string and you do a backward forward knot onto the background string. After that, you just do a regular chevron with forward nuts. And then on the other side, of course, you do the same thing, but in reverse. You take the heart string and you do a forward backward knot onto the background string. And then two backward knots in a chevron. And that's it, as I said, there's just three rows to this pattern. As you can see, I already got a second heart and the strings are back in the position that we started. So you repeat those three rows over and over and over again until the bracelet reaches the length that you want. So I'm gonna finish this bracelet off camera and I'll be with you when I'm done. And there we go, the bracelet is finished. I ended the bracelet by just braiding their leftover ties and cutting off the excess string. And that's it, a super simple yet really cute bracelet in three steps. I think this is a cute bracelet in general, but also a really cute bracelet for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer as many as I can. And if you wanna learn more about friendship bracelets, I have plenty of tutorials ranging from beginner to very advanced, and you can find them all on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. I post videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I'll see you next time. Bye.